Our first little visitor to the uh, bird feeders. It never did warm up that much out here. I mean, the temperature wise it did, but that wind picked up and I think it's coming off the lake. Lake Superior, and it's pretty cool. Tomorrow's supposed to be a nice day again though, so I'll get out here tomorrow and get the rest of this rakes on. Maybe I can start up on the top on the rakes. Framing out the ceiling in here. Just gonna be two by fours. Probably 24 inch center on here because the uh, material going on is only uh, 1 by 4 pine, tongue and groove pine. Gotta love it.
five of them out here this morning. Hey, that didn't take too long. But uh, once I get the fascia, then I have to cover all this with that one by six cedar and back across. Then it'll be ready for the beadboard soffits. And I'll have to uh, drip edge it and all that. It should be getting close to shingling, at least on this side. The back side, I still got to get the porch in before I get too carried away with doing anything. That could be a little six by six porch back there for basically just covering a, a wood pile or whatever, garbage can. Well, this is all I'm doing here is uh, banging these two by fours in. And that'll carry the beadboard. Just putting them on two foot centers, so because that beadboard weighs absolutely nothing. Anyhow, I'll bring you back after I get that done. Although I may have to uh, start tearing into that pile. I guess I'd rather burn up the two by fours that are holding all that together than these 14 footers that I got here. So I won't get two of them out of it. So I'll bring you back when I get more done. Boy, I gotta tell you, they weren't uh, shy of using nails. 
when they put these things together. But uh, I got a few of them stripped down. I think I ended up stripping out five of them and then there were some loose ones in there. A ton of nails, but uh, I'm getting it done. But it got up to like 64 degrees now and I think I might uh, mosey on down to the local watering hole and actually have myself a beer. So talk to everyone after. keep thinking I may be able to try to use that for those uh, garden boxes I want to put out here. I want to do a framework out of cedar about two feet wide from that post out here about two feet beyond and then back there to the edge of the cabin on both corners so it'd be like uh, 10 feet coming across by 8 feet same with the other side. Do a framework out of this stuff and then put uh, corrugated tin for the uh, skin on the inside. And the first foot fill with uh, crushed gravel. Over the crushed gravel throw some uh, landscape material. And then over the uh, landscape material maybe the last 18 inches of the box or so put uh, Nice black dirt, topsoil. I'll be able to put a couple tomato plants or bean plants or whatever in them. Have a little garden out here if I feel like it. And I think that'd be a nice use of this material. Right now I'm just after the two by fours for the uh, remainder of the ceiling joist there for the porch. Anyhow, I got all my uh, joists in for the ceiling in here, in the porch. Now that should be pretty much ready for the beadboard once I get the roof on. Well guys, I guess that's probably enough for this video, but uh, I know I didn't get a whole lot accomplished this week, but uh, in between working here, I had to help a buddy up in the garage there build a couple sets of bunk beds. It was just a rough cut material for his cabin up north here. And uh, so that burned up a day. And then over the weekend, I had an awful lot of visitors, which I'm grateful for. I'm glad that they show up. My uncle for one, uh, my ex-brother-in-law for another. It's always nice to see all them guys. So, 
as I was saying, I didn't get a whole lot done. But I did get that whole pile of uh, cedar beams tore apart. So there's a nice sized pile of cedar. It's not real great for fascia or anything. I'll probably use it for project stuff, like I was saying earlier. Maybe the, the boxes for the uh, garden beds around here. But then uh, I did manage to get all the ladders in. So, up on there, minus the backside. Today, the, the snow and ice finally melted off on the north side of the building. So now, tomorrow, maybe I'll come out for a couple hours and and uh, build them and try to hang them, trim everything off. The big delay was I had to I have to lay a ladder in here, and this was all at a big valley of ice here, so. It's almost all gone now, so I'll be able to get up there and get those prepped for fascia. And then when I pick up the fascia, I'll get the drip edge and get it all prepped for shingling. Once I got it shingled, then it's pretty much watertight and I don't have to ever worry about it again. Once I got it prepped for shingles, I'll pick up the shingles. I still got to figure a color. Kind of thinking gray, but not sure yet. Maybe a nickel or a gray or maybe even a light brown. Not quite sure. But yeah, so unfortunately, like I said, not a whole lot accomplished down here. The birds finally, a couple chickadees or nut hatchers or whatever the heck they're called, kind of showed up here this week. So I got them back a little bit, getting the bird feeders. Of course, my friendly deer have been coming through every morning. So yeah, that's just keep plugging away at it, I guess. So anyhow, everyone, I want to thank you all for watching and hope you all take care out there. We'll see you on the next one.